Hey up, hello and everyone. Uh, good evening. Sunday Night Live again. Like I said last week, if you watched the last uh, Go Live, I said I'll probably make this a, a regular feature oh, well, until the lockdown comes off anyway. Now, you've probably seen from the title, I don't know if it's up there, it should be there. You've probably seen that I've, um, I'm have i doing some Japanese treats. Um, they're in a box and they came literally just the other day. I think they were about... Uh, so we're about nine pound from Amazon. So I'll be answering questions and going through some Japanese sweets. There isn't a lot in here really, um, but there's all there's all sorts of stuff in here. There's some like weird things, and I've got got some instructions as well. So uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing all right. So yeah, Sunday evening, got me a little set up again, a little thing, and uh, yeah, should have a should have a good night really. Um, don't know how long I'll probably do this for, for about an hour or so. But um, oh god, there's, there's there's all sorts of stuff in here. If you can just see inside there, um, like I said, there's some instructions telling you what things are because I have no idea. But apparently, there's a Kit Kat in here as well somewhere. But there's there's all sorts of random stuff. So I've got to go through some questions and I'll try some of these out as well. It should be uh, it should be fun. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing all right tonight. Sunday night live, um, still in the uh, still in the lockdown, um, as we think at the moment. But uh, I'll probably stick on the news. At, uh, I think it's six forty-five. Boris Johnson's going to be uh, there, telling us what's going on for the next uh, well few weeks. Hopefully, we don't we don't really know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Um, like I said, I'll, pro I'll probably make this like a, a regular feature until we can actually go back to the parks. And if so, I'll probably do some during the during the parks as well. I, I don't know. I'll see how it goes. It's just just an idea, isn't it? Q &A uh, yeah, I'll do the Q and A as well. So I'll I'll get cracking with some questions and stuff first, uh, and then I'll get into the uh, to the box of treats. Um, I don't know if we're looking forward to it or not. To be honest, <laughs> there's some really random. Stuff in here. I think there's one that's actually made of like seaweed or something. Really weird. Still haven't found the Kit Kat yet. But there's there's like all sorts of weird random stuff in here. Oh, here we go. Look at these. <laughs> yeah, they look amazing. So yeah, Japan. It's a, it's a place that I'd love to go and visit. Um, some amazing theme parks over there, and obviously the culture as well. Somewhere somewhere different. Somewhere that I've never obviously been before. Something that I find quite interesting as well is, is the Japanese culture. Um, I'm into my cars as well, so obviously the uh, the car scene over there is massive. I don't think it's as big as it used to be with the, the uh, street tuning and all that sort of stuff. But I'm, I'm really into all that sort of stuff, so I'd love to go. And just spotted this on Amazon. I thought, well, give it a go. I said it was like £9 for the box. And there's about 20 different treats in there. So like I said, I'll go through some questions first. Um, yeah, Thrill Seeks, watching season one animated Clone Wars episode. I haven't actually seen any of that. I think I've seen the one that was released at the cinema um, like quite a while ago now, but that was that's all I've seen of them. Obviously, like I said, I'm a big, huge Star Wars fan. I've got my Rogue One T-shirt on today. Um, watched, what's the... Um, Rise of Skywalker four times. I think it's amazing. I think it's one of the best ones. What's your, um, Mike Morton, what's your favourite car? I'm a huge Mini fan, um, the classic Minis. So I've, I've owned about four or five classic Minis and I've actually got a modern Mini now. But yeah, Minis are my favourite sort of cars. Um, I like me a, cl a classic sort of things as well. Um, yeah, there's a, there's, some some messages coming through here, some good questions, actually. One of them here, Mr. Woff's TV Gaming. Andy, have you ever been to America? Well, yeah, if you watch the channel, you would know. We went to um, California earlier this year. I've uh, been to Florida nine times as well, but that's pretty much it. I've been to California, Florida, and Vegas as well, so I haven't really done much of the other stuff. Hang on, I'll just move the camera up a bit because it's, yeah, I'm hunching down a bit. Um, but yeah, I have been to America and I can't wait to go back. Uh, hello, Andy from Dublin. That's the Wen Bridges. Um, yeah, it's like I said, if you have sent questions before and I haven't read them out, I'm very sorry because sometimes the questions on here go really quick and um, I, I don't get a chance to see them. Um, yeah, yeah. Oops on Global Village Dubai. Yeah, it was a bit 
Yeah. <laughs> the theming and that's great, and the actual uh, fun fair itself was brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Uh, there we go. Super chat. Chris V, £10. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for keeping us all entertained, Andy. I've always enjoyed watching your vlogs, and these live streams are fun too. Well, I've got to try and keep it interesting as well. I know there's a lot of other channels doing live streams and things as well but you've got to keep it entertaining having you like do some questions interact with the people who are watching and uh do really random stuff like eating japanese treats or uh, unboxing star wars figures and stuff if you missed that one go and check that one out um i've put a dedicated playlist as well for a lot of the new stuff that i've, I've done recently as well um the video that i'm editing at the moment which will take a couple of days should be up in a couple of days is a top 10 wooden coasters video so look forward to that one um uh, thrill six andy does your partner get in on the vlogs no she she doesn't like them she's actually in the kitchen making a cake at the minute so i look forward to that no she's just not part of the channel so yeah if you watch the channel you would know she's not in the vlogs so um hi andy from uh biggest street fair in england uh, that's alan lewis yeah, sad, isn't it? No, no fun fairs, nothing really going on at the minute. Um, I think with the lockdown finished, I think what we'll try and sort of concentrate on is going to a lot of places that we haven't been to before. One of the major places that we wanted to visit, um, well, quite soon really, was uh, was Black, da Black Gang China, which is the oldest theme park in the UK. Um, there's not a great deal of rides and stuff there, but it's somewhere that I've, I've actually wanted to visit for, for quite a while now. Uh, which is down on the Isle of Wight, a, a, again, a place I've, I've wanted to visit for such a long time. So I try and concentrate on doing a lot of the uh, places that we haven't been to before, some new tourist attractions as well. I want to try and film some new stuff and visit places that we haven't been to before. Uh, one of the places that I really fancy going to is, um, I don't know if anyone's been watching the programme, The Village, but it's a, it's a, it's a little mock-up village that's in, in Wales, um, it looks amazing. I'd, I'd really like to go there. Um, uh, Angela Nickerson. Uh, hi, Andy. What is your favourite park food and snack? Right. I, I'm, I find it quite fussy, actually, because, um, you know, I'm, I'm a big lad, like, and, you know, I like my food. But I'm going to go to uh, theme parks. I'm not, I'm not really interested in the food, if I'm honest. Um, it's normally just a snack, just in between the rides, so like obviously a burger or something like that. Uh, I do like the pizza pastas at the Merlin Park, so they're uh, they're really nice. I like my pizza and my pasta. So something like that. Uh, when we went to uh, Fantasyland a couple of years ago, uh, we actually had some food in the uh, the restaurant in Klugheim, and that was amazing, like this German, I don't know, I can't remember what it was, what I had, but it was really nice. Um I, I, if someone was asking me what was my favourite, well, there you go, what's your favourite restaurant? Um, is that, do you mean in a theme park? I, I mean, I, I don't really know, but I don't really have a, the a favourite theme, uh, rest favourite restaurant. I like Chinese food and Indian food, but I like to try different things, so I wouldn't keep going to the same place um, all the time. I like to try different places. Um, I love chicken fingers and subs at my part. Yeah, American food. Really good. Uh, we've had some good stuff before. I like uh, pulled pork, barbecue pulled pork, and that sort of stuff as well. Um, let's, uh, let's go through some of the things. Is it worth going to Lightwater Valley? Is the ultimate worth making a five-hour journey for? And that's a question from Ben Anderson. I would say yes. If you've never been, um, any park. I, I, I mean, I really suggest this as well. A lot of questions, people will ask questions. Is it worth going to you know, a, sp a specific park. Um, p p p I can't say it. I can't say it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, any park is worth a visit. You know, definitely, if you've never been before, the Ultimate is a crazy ride. I mean, it was one of them where I come off it, I thought, it, 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 it was, it's that it's that bad that it's good, if you know what I mean. It's, it's the second longest coaster in the world. It's the longest in Europe, so it's... You know, if you collect your uh, your credits, then it's 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 well worth getting anyway. Um, Danny Boy Vids, what is your favourite log flume? It's probably Cheer Pass at uh, Fantasia Land. You can't go wrong with that one, really. Um, Simon Wenbridge Postal Museum is worth a visit in London Mail 
rail. So that's the sort of thing I wouldn't I wouldn't bother going to, like a postal museum. Um, not really my sort of thing, unfortunately. But um, transport museums, um, aircraft museums, because I was in the air cadets. I love my aeroplanes and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, um, we got through some more questions. There's loads here. Like I said, I'll probably get keep going for another 20 minutes or so if you've just joined um it's the japanese treats <laughs> there's, there's, all, there's all sorts of stuff in it we're having some japanese treats there's there's all sorts of stuff in there um have you been to york yes i have uh, quite a while ago actually so i've done york minster i did that with my parents done the york dungeon and the um cathedral as well um Oh, I said that, didn't I? York Minster. What was the other? York Vikings Centre, the, uh, like the dark ride. That was brilliant. So I have been there. Um, there's not really a lot of places in the UK I, I haven't been to. There's still quite a few places in Scotland I haven't visited and parts of Wales and things. Um, uh, what's the, have you been on the longest coaster in the world, in Hamilton? I haven't, mate. No, because it's, it's in... It's in Japan. <laughs> it's called Steel Dragon 2000. It's, it's, it's in Japan, and it's over like 7,000 foot of track. I, again, like I said, I'd love to go to Japan. Uh, it's a, a park called Naga, Naga Spari, Spa Land or something. I'm, I'm terrible at uh, names and things. Um, would you go to small fairs that have history in the UK? And that's Jay, uh, the super miner. Uh, yeah, if you again, if you watch the channel for a while, you would know I've been to Carter Steam Fair, which is technically one of the oldest um, traditional traveling fun fairs in the in the world. In fact, and I've got a dedicated playlist of that. Um, I'm getting this same person asking here, he's asked four times, oh, what is your favorite restaurant? I don't have one. <laughs> I like Chinese food and I like Indian food um, and pizzas. Probably, probably if, if he's got to say the favorite um a restaurant for um so like mainstream i'd probably say pizza hut there you go pizza hut um hello andy from jamie harvey yeah i hope everyone's doing all right um like i said it's still in partial lockdown i actually went back to work on monday which thankfully was uh, was great you know being stuck at home it's it's a uh, you know a bit boring isn't it uh what's your what's your nando's order chicken that's all they do in it, chicken. Um, I thought it was the chicken. Butterfly. Yeah, the butterfly. Yeah, butterfly chicken. I like that. I don't like things on the bone or anything because I'm a bit lazy. I don't like cutting the chicken off the bone, so I, I like the uh, the chicken breasts with corn and beans and that sort of thing. Um, what is your options about Oakwood Theme Park? And that's Danny Boy Vids. Love it. It's a great park. Again, yeah, yeah. Uh, opinion. opinion. What did I say? Option. Options. Option. Yeah. Opinion. I mean. Um, it's great. I love it. It's, it's a fantastic park. Megaphobia, one of my favourite wooden coasters uh, in the world. Uh, how many times have you been on the Ultimate? Uh, quite a few, quite a lot, actually. I can't remember. But we've only been going to like Water Valley for the past couple of years. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm from Lancashire, so it wasn't that far away. And I never actually went as a, as a kid, really. Um, Adventure Paul. Hi, hi, mate. How are you doing, Paul? Um, What's your favourite flat ride, Andy, and why? Uh, oh, I don't really know, to be honest. Do you mean at a fun fair or, or a, a theme park? Um, I don't really have that many. Uh, the actual if, if, if flat ride at a, a theme park, it would be uh, Loki at Leesburg. That was amazing, was that? Um, and I quite like Enterprises and that sort of thing. Something, you know, a good classic ride. I'm not really into um, massively spinning rides. Although saying that, I've just mentioned two that are. So <laughs> it, it just depends on what ride it is. Um, are you going to the new Flamingo Land Coaster when it opens? Yes, definitely. So you can, um, yeah. <laughs> you've asked me, about, you've sent that like 10 times on here. But yeah, I am I am going to that. Hopefully we could try and get there for opening day, which we don't obviously know when that is. Um, what's your option, opinion, sorry, on dodging rides? Love them. So fantastic. Yeah, like I said, I'll give it a couple more minutes um, and then we'll get eating some of these Japanese treats. I don't want to go straight into it because then the video wouldn't be very long either. Uh, obviously, when you finish the, uh, the live stream, you can watch this as and when you want. Um, have you been to Lincoln Christmas Market? No, although I am from Lincoln. Well, I was born in Lincolnshire, 
never been to uh, to Lincoln actually. I don't think. Uh, Jamie Morton, hi Andy. Can you say hi, Jamie? There you go. Little shout out for you there. Um, views on Fantasy Island and favourite ride there. Well, my favourite ride there is Millennium because it's one of the best steel coasters in the UK, and I, I think it's a great park actually. Um, it's just a great tr traditional amusement park, really. Some some good rides, some flat rides, good stuff for the kids as well, and obviously they invested as well um, hugely. Um, Cameron Murphy, uh, option. I keep saying, why do I keep saying option? Opinion on Long Lake. Um, well, I've only been once, and I thought it was it was really good, a really nice zoo. Uh, the safari park was good. Um, sadly, the the owner died of, of the, the virus. Uh, Lord Bath. That was very sad to hear about that. But yeah, we'll, we'll probably go back there in the future. There's a few more of them safari type parks that I'd like to visit. I'd like to go back up to. Um, uh, Knowsley Safari Park because I haven't been there since well since I was young really. Uh, chasing coasters, wood or steel? Mm, I'd probably say steel. I think I, pref I prefer more steel coasters than I do wooden coasters. If that makes sense. Um, I'm watching POVs on Adventure Island. Yeah, there's plenty of them. Um, yes, we are. Uh, will you be watch watching the Boris Johnson speech at seven o'clock? Yes, we will. So like I said, I'll probably keep this going for about an hour or so, and then we'll be watching that because I think it's quite important to keep up to date with all these uh, messages and things, what they're saying on the on the news. Uh, got to go to work now. Wish me luck. There you go. Wish you luck. West Midlands is the best. Yes. K Crispy. Yeah, we've been to West Midlands a few times, actually, and it's really good. Um, obviously, it's got the theme park as well with the rides and the tour around the, the actual safari is really good as well. Um, if you've never been, it's a good one to go to. Um, Lamy 10, well, you just asked a question there. Are you going back to work soon? If you've just joined the live stream, yeah, I went back last Monday. Um, I'm actually covering a job. That's, it's, not my, it's not my actual job, but I'm, I'm covering someone else's job for, a, a, I don't know, a couple of weeks, and then I'm going back to mine. Um, why do you always moan? I'm sure this is some sort of troll, because you keep asking silly questions. I don't always moan, but... <laughs> Maybe you do, I don't know. Um, opinions and park asterisks. Again, I only went once. I thought it was a really good park, actually. Some really good coasters there, some some good attractions and some nice theming as well. Um, would you like to see a woody RM seed or keep them as they are? Well, that's Coaster World. I know your opinion probably be the same as mine. I would love to see one. I don't know, actually. I really don't know. Do you know, we've been talking about this for quite a while. And a lot of people would say, you know, re um, retrack um, Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But if, if I'm honest, I'd prefer it if it was like retracks by GCI and put some Millennium Flyer trains on. I don't really see any coasters in the UK that would, you know, be beneficial from an RMC. Maybe Nickelodeon Streak or a Big Dipper, one of those. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'd rather see a ground up one, really, like Zadra, if I'm honest. Um, do you have merchandise mugs? That's from Thrill Six. I've got two. I've got two Blackpool Pleasure Beats mugs. Um, <laughs> what? No, I've not been to Northampton. What's that? Rothwell, Northamptonshire Street Fair. No, I've not not been to that one. Do you like Holland? Yes, I do. I think ne the Netherlands is a fantastic country. Uh, when do you think the Merlin Parks will open? No idea. Just the same as everyone else. We've got we've got no idea of when uh, when these parks are opening. Um, hi Andy, have you heard that the Disney parks will be reopening? They have in China, uh, but that's about it really. There's there's not else um, there to be honest. That um, I don't think there's there's any other parks, any of the other Disney parks reopening soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, right, like I said, I've got to give give it a few more minutes. And then I'll uh, start start with it. Well, in fact, yeah, I'll probably start doing it now. I don't know what they'll be. Uh, I hope this isn't too boring for anyone watching. But, uh, yeah, there's... I don't know what that is. What is that? What do you reckon that is? It's weird. It's got some sort of character on the side. Yeah, like I said, I've got instructions for it as well. Um, I'll try and find it. I don't know what it is. I think I'll just open it up and have a look, really. I'll come over and tell me what it is. 
<laughs> that one. Oh, that's the maze one. That one. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, Thrill Six. Do you want to go to Cedar Point in San Dusky? Who doesn't want to go to Cedar Point? But it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's like corn. it's like yeah, it's corn. It's so like a it's crisp. A shimmy corn stick. A shimmy corn stick. Yeah, uh, Cedar Point. I'd love to go, but it's not. I'd rather go to other parks first because I've just heard it's so hard to get to. Um, Does it smell? Of? It doesn't smell of anything. Yeah, I'd rather go to more, one of my big bucket list parks is, is is actually Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, and some other parks in Europe actually. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know what that tastes like. It's just like a corn. It's like a corn crisp. Does it say what flavour it is? Um, so you the flavor is it like smoky got, bacon or something? You've got cheese, teriyaki burger, that corn might... pottage, salad. Oh, so it's. Oh. It must be. You've got one that's fish. One that's fish. Um, oh. Chicken curry. Chicken curry. Beef tongue. I don't know. Natto, sugar rust. That's horrible. <laughs> or chocolate. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. A bit uh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I want some sweet. Where's, where's all the nice sweets? Oh, no, they're horrible. I don't like that. What's, oh, what's that? I think I've just got to try them and just say what I think to it. Um, what's your favourite theme park? Well, if you watch the, uh, the my video, it's it's on it's on YouTube. Go and check it out. Top 10 theme parks. It's it's actually Motion Gate in Dubai. I, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, favorite US park? Well, like I said, I've only been to Florida and California. My favorite US park? I can't remember what it is. I'd have to go back on that. Look at my list, to be honest, to find out what it was. Um, so write everything down on my phone. Uh, Bush Gardens Tampa is my favorite Amer uh, American park that I've been to, obviously. So I try this one. I don't know what that one is. I think it's the same as that one, same sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know what flavour is. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's minging. It's well minging. Oh, that's nice. That's like beef. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that's nice. Oh, that's horrible. It's got like a... That's got a barbecue taste. It's got like a milky flavour to it. Try that. Oh, that's horrible. That's rank. That's cheese. Cheese? Well, it's quite nice. It's sweet. You think? Yeah, it was a bit sweet, that. I really like, if anyone's willing to get me one and send me one, a box of American treats, although I have been to America. Eh? Oh, yeah, I know them all. Oh, I love American sweets, like M&Ms and all that sort of stuff. Where's all the chocolate? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got this thing next. Looks good. Sort of like a dog chew. That's amazing. <laughs> so that one is a uh, a sugar corn stick with a succulent mix of milk chocolate and milk crispy corn. Oh, crispy corn and milk chocolate. What's your favourite shooting dark ride? Uh, I'd probably really say uh, Mouse Chocolate at, at Fantasy at Fantasyland. It's like a giant Weeto. No one has we Weetos before. It doesn't look very chocolatey on the screen, but yeah. Well, I like that. <laughs> oh, so what does it taste like? It's nice. It actually tastes like a Weeto. Or Cocoa Pops, that sort of thing. Well, that's nice. It is nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll be ordering more of them. <laughs> I like that. Oh, really <laughs> it is nice. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, mouse of chocolate at Fantasyland. It, it smells like chocolate as well. It's brilliant. I think that's a fantastic ride. If anyone that's ever been to um, the, the Disney parks and been on Toy Story Midway Mania, similar to that sort of thing. Uh, what are your plans when all this calms down? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I, get, I get a lot of ask. I've, I've, well, I've had lots of questions asking what's what sort of parts probably going to first and I, I was i was gonna say alton towers but i think 
most people would want to go to Alton Towers first. So it'd be really busy. And we don't know what the um, Choco Dog Chew, yeah. <laughs> um, we, we don't know what the restrictions are going to be like. So, for instance, say there's a, a limited capacity at, at all parks, not just Alton Towers. So Blackpool Pleasure Beach as well. Um, you know, a limited, the queues have got to be really bad. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what it's got to be like. That's nice, that. <laughs> what, what is the best airtime moment? Oh, probably one on Troy, maybe. It's got a, a really nice camelback as it comes back towards the uh, the station. It's brilliant. Really good airtime on it. Or Boulder, on Boulder. Or um, one on Helix, the one that popped my shoulder out, maybe. Love your channel, Ben Anderson. Thank you very much. What's, what's this one? I'm opening it. Oh, I haven't told you what it is. I don't know what that one is. Oh, it needs scissors. Need some scissors for that. I think it's some sort of cola or is it beer? I don't know. It looks horrible, whatever it is. Oh, that's when you put in a drink. Uh, oh, is it? Oh, you yeah. put it in a drink. Oh, we'll leave that one for now then. Leave that one for now. Where's all the nice ones at? Oh, you got this weird thing here. Is it, what is it? Bottom. Uh, mini bottle sherbet. Mini so, bottle sherbet. Lemon, strawberry, or cider flavour. Looks like you've got strawberry. Aaron J. Gilliamore, been, been watching your vids. Cheers. No worries. I, I hope I hope you enjoyed what we've been doing. I just want to say as well that, you know, there, there's. I don't know if the videos have been that popular during the lockdown, but at the end of the day, what what more are we meant to do and it's not just me as well it's it's all the channels there's you know we we're actually struggling to get some of the footage out um, and trying to be creative that's why i'm eating weird japanese treats tonight um last week it was just more of a, a q a next sunday if we're still in you know doing this i'll do i'll do something else i might get some some of your merch out and go through some of that but like I said, I don't really collect merch, but just just bear with us all. It's not just me; it's, it's other channels as well. We've been struggling to actually get the uh, uh, the content out or actually come up with some ideas. Uh, what was that? I was just seeing a good one there. Uh, I like your POV footage videos. Thank you very much. So what's the texture? Texture. Yeah. Horrible, like a fizzy strawberry. Thing. Oh, it's horrible. No, I don't like that. It's a good job these were expensive because um, I probably end up binning most of these. Oh, if you want me to send you to them, to you, yeah, um, I can do. <laughs> if you want some secondhand sweets, sour grit. Oh, yeah, something like that. It's disgusting. Um, like, there's another fizzy one here. Looks like some sort of bubblegum type thing. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gross like powder. Uh, would you play Planet Coaster? That's from Steve Wadley. I don't have a... Co I mean, I'm using a laptop now to, to film this on, but I don't have a computer to play uh, Planet Coaster on. I'm still uh, toying with the idea of, of doing a, a Roller Coaster Tycoon series. I, I said I was going to do that seven weeks ago. I still haven't done it now. Uh, if I'm honest, I, I, I don't even know if I will probably even do that. Um, I love this keeps me sane. Yeah, nice one. I think it's some sort of cola bottle. I don't know. Um, so that. Um, soda gummy. Grape, apple or soda? Uh, grape, frog and soda. Apple or soda? Have you put the whole thing in your mouth? I have. Uh, you didn't share? No, I didn't share. Yeah, I really like So sort of like fizzy sweetie type things. I like all sorts of stuff. My favourite stuff like biscuits and things, chocolate biscuits. Danny Boy Fibs, do you like castles? If so, which is your favourite? Um, Warwick Castle? I don't know. Windsor Castle's nice. Yeah, it is near us. Cider. Yeah, no, I don't like cider. I try one of these ones as well. I don't know. They, they all seem to be quite similar. Japanese treats. There's another one here. So there's another two of them. So what I'll try these weird, these weird straw things. 
So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have just joined, trying out some Japanese treats and answering your questions as well. 142 people watching. It's not too bad. Been going exactly half an hour. So I'll probably go for another 30 minutes or so. Yeah, probably. And then we've got the, uh, the announcement from Boris Johnson in a bit as well. I'll try so, the fish one. That's I think that is the... Well, it's got a so fish on it. It's made from grilled surumi, whatever that is. Grilled paste, paste made from grinded fish, <laughs> uh, mild in taste and low in calories. It's great beer or soda companion. Yeah, it's you like a. Need to drink, yeah, you? I've got I've got my soda, huh. generic sodas. So other generic. other brands are available. Better brands. Yeah, available. better. No, I prefer that brand. Um, yeah, it's. it's I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Minging. Luke Smith, hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Hello from a fellow tuber. Yo, yo, Choba. Oh, this looks disgusting. Cat might like it. Cat might. <laughs> Give it to the cat. No smell. Oh, uh, it's like fish food. Not like I've ever tried fish food. Mm. You like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I like fish skin, though. Oh, look at it. That's nice. Really? Hmm. What's up, Andy? I'm doing all right, mate. How are you? So, yeah, if someone some more questions, I'll go through. Um, did you what? Did you like that? Yeah, I did. Oh, shoot. Sure. No. I like, <laughs> I like the first one you had as well. The it? first one? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. You didn't like it? I know I didn't like that. <laughs> what else is there? I want the good stuff. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh I don't sleep. I think that's apple. I'm quite. I'm actually quite fussy with stuff like this. No, like, right. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm not keen on apple flavored stuff or strawberry flavored stuff. So I think that's apple. Mm. I think. No, that's not. Apple. Is it not apple? No. So what is that? Um, I don't know. Whatever that is. It's a packet of sugar based candy. Sugar based candy. Oh, made by repeatedly coating sugar syrup over <sighs> core, consisting of a grain of coarse sugar. Uh, sounds rank. Um. Yeah. Uh, Danny Boy Vids, what is your favourite inversion? Really like a good zero zero. But saying that, the one on Zadra is pretty good as well. Like the what? Excuse me. <laughs> the inverted stall is brilliant. I love that. Mm. Yeah, that chocolate thing. Well nice. The chocolate dog chew. Uh, Alex Wiggy, what sort of ride do you think Blackpool Pleasure Beach should get next? Question mark, question mark. Um, well, it's quite obvious, isn't it, really? A, a, a modern dark ride. Get, uh, rid of, like, get rid of Grand National. Get, yeah, get rid, yeah, get rid of Grand National. Put an RMC there. No. Um, a modern dark ride. It's got to be, hasn't it, really? So it's like a trackless dark ride. Something like... Um, oh, Symbolica, the F to him. Oh, I don't like that either. I don't like that. No. <laughs> that is grim. Well, definitely apples. Oh, that's horrible. Try them. Look. That looks like. Try it. It's horrible. Sending it back. I want my money back. Oh, well, there we go. Yay. So, it, so it dissolves completely in your mouth. It just... Oh, it dissolves. Well, I chewed it. <laughs> I don't think you meant to chew that. That's watermelon, you did. <laughs> what watermelon then? Um, what theme part, what mm. theme or IP yeah. for the dark ride? You know what? It's it's hard, isn't it? You know, when, when you've got a, a really good part that's got some good stuff. I mean, I like the Wallace and Gromit. And actually thinking about it, before Icon was actually put into to Blackpool, my idea was uh, base it on another aeroplane. Like they've got the uh, the flying, uh, the Red Arrows one. What, do you, do you like, like them? Them? She likes them. The Red Arrows one, Sky Force. I actually thought of Icon as being called Vulcan, um, which was the uh, uh, the bomber that we had in, in England that was grounded not so long ago, actually. Um, I thought that was a great theme of, you know, going around bombing the other rides, but I don't know. Um, an actual theme. What do you think? I, I don't know. What would you, If you wanted a dark ride, a modern dark ride in Blackpool Pleasure Beach, what sort of theme would you go for? Uh, best SLC you have been on? Uh, probably Kumali at Flamingo Land, that or Mayan at um, Energy Landy because it's got the new 
over the shoulder restraint with the vests on it. That was quite comfortable, was that? Um, thought Anthony, Anthony Lacer thought you didn't like Symbolica much. It's all right as a dark ride. It's all right. I just wasn't it's hyped. Yeah, it's it's really hyped. There's obviously other channels out there that have hyped it up to be one of the best dark rides out there, but it's it's not. Um, Star Trek maybe. No, I don't know because I would have thought like Blackpool would got to keep going down the uh, like the British. I mean, maybe some like Doctor Who, maybe a Doctor Who um, trackless dark ride. I don't know something that's British anyway. Um, keeping on that sort of tradition of what the the park is is Flamingo Land a good park? Yeah, it's all right. I, I enjoy it. Right, so next up, I'm trying. Well, you you all know what that is. It's Kit Kat. Apparently, someone was telling me that uh, Kit Kats are very. Um, popular in in Japan, and I'm oh no, it's not it's wasabi. Nacho, it's green tea. It's green tea. Thank God, I looked at, I saw the green. I thought it better not be wasabi. Wasabi. No, nah, don't like that. I'd do half of that. Nah. You don't like it. Mm. Try no, it. I've had it. You had it before. It's actually all right. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, what's your favourite UK theme park? I'll be doing a video of this in um, in a while, actually. And you know what? At this current time, I don't know. I I, I probably will say, um, well, actual, I do know it's Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But um, is that, well, there's not much choices there really when you think about it. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of of um, Vault and Towers. Thorpe's all right. Thorpe's got a nice little layout to it. It's got some decent rides there. And I love um, Poulton's Park. I'll just send another question here. Richard Colson, do you and Lisa have any pets? We do, actually. We've got a cat down here. Maisie, see if we can get her for you. Come on. Oh, she's here. Come on, then. She's a bit fussy, a little black cat we've got. If she comes to me, I'll show you now she's gone. <laughs> we've got the door open again. But yeah, we've got a little cat. Uh, next Sunday, do a chili challenge. No, that's not got to happen. I don't like chili. I'm not doing food challenges. I'll leave that to my friend Paul Lay if he's watching. That's the sort of thing. So yeah, if you have joined, by the way, we've been going for just over half. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, could you stop it? Come on. There she is. She's scratching. You're on the telly now. Look. There she is. She does. She's like, <laughs> oh, uh, ah! <laughs> Put her down. <laughs> well, there you go. There's the cat. She's called Maisie. Yeah. So normally, if we go away on holiday and stuff, she goes to the cattery. Or she stays here. Cat sit. Oh, yeah. Cat sit. I forgot about that. Yeah. Cranes or roller coasters. It was definitely roller coasters. And, uh, I've, I've set up a crane too often. Uh, hi, Maisie. Cute cat. Yeah. She's really cute. I, I took my kitten with me on a ride before. Mm, really? Right. Yeah, like I said, if you have just joined, we've got some Japanese treats. I've already eaten, like, fish sticks and some other weird stuff down here. So I'll go through a few more of these, and then uh, I think we'll call it a night, really, because, like, another 20 minutes we've got this... Uh, Announcement from Boris Johnson. I think it's quite important that we should all sit down and watch that, really. Um, theme Park fan Sammy97, do you like the Smiler? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Um, it can be pretty rough sometimes, but as a, I think as an engineering project, it's, it's amazing how they manage to fit a coaster like that in such a small space is brilliant. I think as an actual engineering concept i think it's probably one of the best that there is around really to be honest but the ride there's there's better there's better ghost flowers out there um that i've been on really right next up is uh well i know what it is it's a flump like um, marshmallow is that, is that a what no i don't think so it's oh, okay. that. It's oh that. it's that one that's, oh. you have the awesome content on your channel, keep it up, mate. That's from Kim Joseph. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Ben Anderson. I think that might be... Do you like Sean on theme? But yeah, of course I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good mate. 
It's nice that. It's just a do you want to try it? No. It's just a flump. And one that likes them sort of thing. Favourite water ride in the world? Again, I'd probably say Cheer Pass, really. Um, but if you're talking about rapids, then it's um Popeye and Blue Toes, Bill Barges at um Universal Islands of Adventure in Florida. I think that's amazing. Ben Anderson is Troy Good. Yes, it's amazing. Best best wooden coaster I've ever been on. Uh best American wooden coasters. Um Ghost Rider, but like I said, if you stay tuned, in the next couple of days there's a new video coming up, which is the uh, 10 best wooden coasters that I've ridden. Yeah, Jedi, definitely Jedi. That's uh, Luke Curry. This is a good one, actually. Um, G Class Blackpool Pleasure Beach is an amusement park or a theme park, and why? It's an amusement park. Seriously, whatever anyone says, it's an amusement park. It doesn't have themed areas other than Nickelodeon Land, but a theme park is like Alton Towers, uh, Chessington, Poltons, that sort of thing. The, the, a theme park is a place that's got themed areas. Um, Blackpool, it doesn't have that. So it's, it's an amusement park. It's always been an amusement park. Mm. You don't have to eat it all. You've got loads I like that. I like it. It's good. Do you think Blade will reopen at Alton Towers? Um, I think so. I thought they put the, they put a new boat on it. Uh, ben Anderson, what, uh, can the blade swing higher at towers? I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. Um, but yeah, a few more sweets and treats and things to go through, yeah, and then I think I'll get a call it a night. But I hope you've enjoyed this uh, live stream tonight. There's 153 people watching. Hope it's not been too boring for you, really. It's just like I said, it's just something to, it's just something to do, isn't it? It's a bit of content um, and something to entertain you. You've still got loads to go. Hmm. Is there? Oh, God, there is actually. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a few. Try the Hello Kitty one. Which one? I handed to you. Oh, that? Oh, what is that? Try it. Hello Kitty. I got a GoPro 8. Yeah, I'm still using a GoPro 6, mate, if I'm honest. It's it's good. It's a good good camera. And I don't think I'll be changing for a while. That looks quite weird. <laughs> Especially for the that bit hanging bite off. Bite into it. it. No, don't eat huh? bite. Yeah. What is it? Oh. Oh no, that's weird. What is that? It doesn't. <laughs> That's weird. That looks a bit random. <laughs> but yeah, it's got chocolate in the middle of it. Do they taste nice too? That's all right, actually. It's like a marshmallow with um, chocolate in the middle, but it just looks a bit weird. Try some rice crackers. It's spun sugar. Rice crackers? Mm. Oh, those ones. I like the uh, design on that. Cool. Yeah, I'd love to go to Japan. Anyone that's ever been to Japan, let me know what it's like. Uh, Jim Lyons, shout out, mate. There you go. There's your shout out. What is the best seaside resort? Blackpool. That was easy. Oh, God. I like um, butt scratchings. Like weird. Very nice. Oh, they're all right. Oh, I like them. I'll try them. What's the flavour? I don't know. Does it say on the instructions? No. They're quite nice, them. Like a pork sort of flavour. I'll try one of these. Do you like Joyland at Great Yarmouth? Yes, I love it. Um, I've only ever been once, and I think it's a really, it's a really charming little place. It's got some classic rides there. Yes, it's for kids, but... Um, you know, it's a family park, isn't it? It's, it's what it is. It's a very small, cute little place with some good rides. These are all right, you know. They've got some good um, flavours to them. What flavour is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like a burger. Burger flavour. Yeah, I've got a burger one. I think it was a burger flavour. Right? No. Yeah. no. Barry Wooten, have you ever been to Wicksteed Park? Yes, we've been about three times. 
and it's, mm, it's not very good. I did actually do a video once, and I know someone mentioned, like, saying, oh, why do you moan? I did moan at this time, and I, I didn't really enjoy it that much, but then we went with some friends and got a wristband, and it was all right. I quite enjoyed it. It's, it's a bit of a weird setup. You've got, like, this go-kart track in the middle with some rides and a coaster, and then you got another part to it as well. I was on your vlog at Joyland. That's Kevin Young. So it's another one of these uh, crispy things. It's got like a dark powder on it, so it's like some sort of beef, I reckon. Oh, it tastes like Worcester sauce or like ketchup or something. Teriyaki. Teriyaki could be, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. Mm. Got a big pile of sweets and stuff there. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna eat another one of these. There's another one. There's a there's a few more things left. You got a bag of bag of them. Got this little strawberry strawberry thing. Oh, I've got this drink. Huh? What do you do? So you pour it into a cup. What the whole thing? All right. So we've got this thing here. Pour it into there. Oh, that'll do. Lift it all. That's it. And then put some water in it. How far do you fill it? Stop. It's just a little drink. It's horrible. Uh, it's fizzing. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh. It's like the water at Morecambe. Oh, that's disgusting. It's, yeah, it's really fizz. I don't know if Try it now. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Did you taste them? I don't know. I don't know. That's horrible. Oh my god, where's the packet at? It's this thing here. Uh, I don't know. Is it cola? Should we put more in it? Like down it in one. Like, oh no! It's like a pretend kids beer. Yeah, it's like a fake. Yeah, it's like a fake beer. Down it. Oh no! Go on. Oh, down it. So down it. Go on. Send the super chats and I'll down it. I'll down it in one. Put some more of the. Uh, wasn't much left in it. Oh, that was it. <laughs> It's kids' beer someone's put, yeah. It looks like it, doesn't it? Anyone got Google Translate? You can tra freeze phrase that and Google Translate it. <laughs> oh, there's the cat. She's here on the windowsill. Look, there she is. <laughs> She's on the windowsill. She's on the telly now. Do you want me to down it in one? Oh, it's nice. Oh, chug, 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 chug. <laughs> looks like Skegness Sea. It does, doesn't it? It looks like British seawater. That's <laughs> disgusting. In fact, a lot of people don't realise this, but yeah, the seawater in England is pretty clean. It's just the sand underneath. When the, when the waves are coming in, it just disturbs the sand. Right, here we go. <laughs> I don't like that. That's horrible. Oh, it's really grim. That it tastes like seawater as well. Oh, it's like being on that uh, log flume at Great Yarmouth. <laughs> uh, go on, then I will ask you another question. If you down it, well, I just downed it. So, uh, uh, is this this is like I'm a celeb? It is. Yeah. Right. I've got a couple more things to try, and then then that's it. Then I'm calling it a night. So try this. I think the uh, I don't know if the news is on now. Is it not? It's on now, is it? But I'll watch the thing at uh, Boris Johnson. But yeah, if you are watching from another country, it's just it's just been it's not been good, has it? And they reckon there's like another second wave of this coming in, which could be worse. So just seriously, if if we do come out of lockdown soon, just don't you know don't go stupid with it. Don't expect 
theme parks and, and all that to, to reopen uh, straight away because they won't. They've got obviously put guidelines in place. Get yourself some little masks on Amazon or something like that. Just you know, just stick to the rules. Don't don't be stupid about it. And, and keep supporting us YouTubers as well. So this is another one of them. I don't know if I've already had this one. It's another one of them crispy things. Oh, no, that's horrible, that. What does it taste like? I don't know. It's, um, I don't know. I'll try it. No, oh, it's horrible, that. Something rotten, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Boris is on in 10 minutes. Right, so that's it. I'll give it a, give it 10 minutes, and then we're, we're going. So, well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Like I said, if you have joined, sorry, you know, it's going about an hour or so nearly. Um, trying out Japanese treats. So I've got these crisps left to do. Got some little, oh, that's quite nice. little sweets, little pills. Kids, chocolate. remember, don't do drugs. Chocolate, chocolate are they? Oh, like Smarties. And with this little strawberry thing. And these little... That's just sugar. Yeah, sugar things. <sighs> Try the chocolates, shall I? Go through some more. Um, Push it like a tablet. Oh, like a tablet, yeah. Push it like a tablet. Push it like it's hot. Mmm, it's all right. It just, it just tastes like a Smartie, really. Boris or Kia. <laughs> you don't need to eat more. Mmm, good. <laughs> Right, what else have we got? A couple more things to do. I love your live streams. One out of ten. Yeah, nice one. Oh, they're nice. What was that? Because I've got chocolate taste stuff in my mouth. Weird little characters here. A Japanese... Uh, like Texas all the corn, it's called Texas corn. It it? Oh, it says it. Yeah, it says it there. Yeah, Japanese like all the lettering and all the funky graphics. So you've got flavors of fried chicken, fried chicken, pizza, pizza. corn pottage, or teriyaki flavor. What's it taste like? You've got to explain it. it tastes like crisps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a pizza flavor. Maybe Arab flavour. No yeah, pizza, it's horrible. It's pizza. Yeah. Mm. So if you're new round here, don't forget to um, to subscribe if you are, if you haven't already. Don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Although I just said that, didn't I? Uh, don't forget to uh, give it a mm. thumbs up as well. And um, yeah, China or Japan. Uh, um, I, I don't know. I don't really want to say. But yeah, I'd rather go to Japan than, than China. You just said. You said you didn't want to say. I didn't want to say, but I did just say, didn't I? What's this? Oh, you've got that as well. Strawberry thing. Oh, I've got, oh that and looks nice. That. It's oh, a chewing gum. Chewy gum. Oh, yeah. I'll probably have that later. That looks nice as well. But I've got that as well. The strawberry things. <sighs> Try one. Oh, excuse me. You're trying two, are you? Trying two. Mmm. Mm, that's right, isn't it? Oh, it's chewing gum. Oh, chewing bubble gum. gum. Bubble gum. Mm. It's all right, though, that. It was like a chocolate, no, not chocolate, it's like strawberry milkshake sort of flavour. I'll try that next. Like I said, if you did, if you have enjoyed this live stream, um, I'll, I'll, I'll do some more of these sort of things. Um, I just thought it'd be quite quite interesting to do, really quite funny as well. But <laughs> Stacy Moore, your turd will be green in the morning. <laughs> I don't think I've eaten anything green, have I? Yeah. Well, what did I have to do with green? Stuff. Watermelon stuff. Nature. Ooh, Nature. look at that. Like a biscuit, chocolate biscuit thing. 
Yeah, cute little dude on it as well. With a tash, looks like me. Yeah, I've had my hair cut as well. Mmm. Mm -hmm. What's it taste of? It's good, right? Yeah. Mm. Boris is on in five minutes, yeah. I'm watching the time. That's like um. No, oh, just like a hazelnut chocolate thing. Biscuit. Biscuity thingy. Oh, that, that's nice, that. William Clark, that biscuit is looking nice. It's lovely. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Oh. <laughs> oh, well done, Andy. That's it. There's, there's literally... Two things left now. So we've got them and that. When well, I got it wrong, they're the sugar crystals. Oh, the sugar sugar crystals. Luke Smith, I am a funfair enthusiast. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't really say I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a funfair enthusiast at all, really. I like going to them because I like going on the oh rides. Floor. And some of these are on the floor. Um, but I, I like the uh, the funfair sort of atmosphere as well because obviously when I, when I grew up, I had Frontierland down the road and it had a lot of, uh, before it was changed to Frontierland, it had a lot of funfair sort of rides. So I like going to them. Tasty. Like Sizzlers and Mexican hats and that sort of thing. Tasteless. Not taste of anything then, do they? Just sugar. No. Uh, I didn't like them at all. Can't see it. Can you see them? On the hand. They're a bit rubbish, though. So you just throw it in your mouth anyway? Mm-hmm. Right. right, so we've got a couple of minutes left. Hope you've enjoyed this live stream tonight. Bubble we've got some bubble gum left. Obviously, I didn't want to make this four hours long or anything like that. And then which one's your favourite? Oh, yeah, which was my favourite? Yeah, that. Yeah, definitely that. And that biscuit thing I've just eaten as well. Anything that's biscuit and chocolate is a winner in my book. So that and that I've just eaten. They're my favourites so far. The, the crisp things are all right. I've got one more thing to eat. That's that thing there. Neil Ridgard, bye Andy and Lisa, stay safe. Uh, love Neil and family. Yeah, stay safe, guys. Anyone that's going, like I said, I'll be going in a couple of minutes now anyway, so this is the last thing. Boris is about to start live with Downing Street. I've got it on there. Um, like I said, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I think that's like a cola flavour. Sour, sour cola. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, probably see you again. Oh, bubble gum. Can't be bothered with that. Uh, Anthony Lacey, thank you. Two pound, not miss Boris one minute. Yeah, like I said again, sorry, I've just repeated myself, but don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell for next time I upload another video. Uh, the next video that I will be uploading is a top 10 wooden coasters. Just to let everyone know, there's no hybrids in this at all. So there's no Wood Express, there's no RMCs, that sort of thing. It is purely just full wooden coasters. Uh, ben Anderson, do you like politics? Not at all. I can't stand politics, but it's important to know what's going in and on in the country. Uh, I'm, I'm quite patriotic. I like to know what's going on. So it's important to watch stuff like this. Um, one minute to go. Uh, I just want to say thank you for anyone who's uh, who's been watching this live stream i hope it's not been too it's not been boring for people watching if you have just joined i'm sorry but it's it's, it's about to end in about 40 seconds been eating some japanese treats a uh, couple of shout outs uh, hasta la vista boss what's up boss i hopefully see you soon in a couple of weeks mate um crispy uh, k crispy 2009 sloffy vlogs has just joined as well i'm here no plastic not plastic um Great, uh, great stream. Uh, cheered me up, cheered me up, up my night. Uh, that's it. I want to say thank you to everyone who's watched. 
I'll see you later. Bye for now.